And this week's book is Timothy Goes to School. Who's getting ready to go? Their author and the illustrator, it appears, is Rosemary Wells. All right, let's check it out. Look at this. Maybe that's Timothy's mom brushing his hair. Timothy's mother made him a brand new sunsuit for the first day of school. Hooray, said Timothy. Timothy went to school in his new sunsuit with his brand new book and his new pencil. Good morning, said Timothy. Good morning, said Mrs. Jenkins. Timothy, said Mrs. Jenkins. This is Claude. Claude, this is Timothy. I'm sure you'll be best friends. Hello, said Timothy. Nobody wears a sunsuit on the first day of school, says Claude. No? During playtime, Timothy hoped and hoped that Claude would fall into a puddle, but he didn't. Jumped in it. Boop. Right over the puddle. When Timothy came home, his mother asked, How was school today? Nobody wears sunsuits on the first day of school, said Timothy. I'll make you a beautiful new jacket, said Timothy's mother. <laughs> Dad. Timothy wore his new jacket the next day. Hello, said Timothy to Claude. You're not supposed to wear party clothes on the second day of school, said Claude. Who made all these rules? All day, Timothy wanted and wanted Claude to make a mistake, but he didn't. <clears throat> when Timothy went home, his mother asked, how did it go? You're not supposed to wear party clothes on the second day of school, said Timothy. Don't worry, said Timothy's mother. Tomorrow, tomorrow you'll just wear something in between like everyone else. <laughs> the next day, Timothy went to school in his favorite shirt. Look, said Timothy, you are wearing the same shirt as I am. No, says Claude, you are wearing the same shirt that I am. During lunch, Timothy wished and wished that Claude would have to eat all alone, but he didn't. Let's see. A bunch of people around. After school, Timothy's mother could not find Timothy. Where are you? She called. I am never going back to school, said Timothy. Why not? called his mother. Because Claude is the smartest and the best at everything. And he has all the friends, said Timothy. You'll feel better in your, your new football shirt, said Timothy's mother. Timothy did not feel better in his new football shirt. That morning, Claude played the saxophone. I can't stand it anymore, a voice next to, said a voice next to Timothy. Who's that, I wonder? Who is who said that? It was Violet. You can't stand what? Asked Timothy to Violet. Grace, said Violet. She sings, she dances, she counts up to a thousand, and she sits next to me. Miss Grace. During playtime, Timothy and Violet stayed together. Violet says, I can't believe You've been here all along. <clears throat> Will you come home and have cookies with me after school, Timothy asked. I'll ask my mom. On the way home, Tim Timothy and Violet laughed so much about Claude and Grace, they both got the hiccups. They made friends. The end. I'll see you next time. Bye.